So, like, what is going on, guys? I'm going to attempt to stream. I feel like AT&T fixed my upload. I'm not going to swear to it, but I think they did. I'm about to check. You look at this message. Oh, oh drop out. 1,000, 1,793, 36, 942. Probably hogging all the bandwidth right now. I just want to see if I can stream because it's been a minute. So I'm live right now. Huh. Yeah, that is killing my bandwidth. That's killing my bandwidth. Wow, taking a lot. Let's see, what am I streaming in? I'll do uh. I'll bring it down really low and see if that helps. I think that helped out a lot, actually. I don't know what the quality is going to be. Okay, so it's 518. I don't know what the quality is going to look like. So, let's get my chats here. Um, so, this is just a bunch of pre tests to see where I can go. 
like 20 kilobits. It might just look terrible, but that's all I can really do right now. But I want to stream. Like I want to stream. And sit back, play some Mario, let people join my chat. Just relax. Anybody's welcome. And I do not want. Where's my mouse at? It's been so long. But I am not on Boycom anymore. And I'm going to need to change my title. Let's see. Kick on Super Nintendo. Because that's just been my test stuff right now. That's loud as fuck. Oh my god, that's loud. That's loud. That's loud. That's. Jesus, that was loud. Um, mute this, see where I'm at, oh, uh, oh shit, Oops. bro, offline. Oh, wait. Ha, ha, there you go. Not the best quality. It's really not. And I just died. And we have Bob Ross in the corner. You gotta have your boy Bob. Okay. I wish I could do better quality. I can keep tweaking it and see where I can go. Um, this is great news considering I can stream on my internet with my upload that I got, even though it's not the best upload, but it's what I got. In the end, it's fiber, but not full, true fiber. Okay, let's see here. YouTube live stream. viewers I don't know if the, uh, I, I got new internet whoever's here I have new internet I don't know if it's one of my fellow viewers from the past I don't know if it's my dude if my dude's here that's gonna be cool Let's see titles I should be signed in okay stream title I'm just gonna change it Should be on YouTube. I wonder if they can pull all of this. I wonder if I can pull all of this. Event does not exist. Okay, cool. We were more prepared in the future. Okay, bet. Okay, bet. Alright. It can pull it up. Welcome to the live chat, baby. Welcome to the void. Okay, chat is open, and I'm just on. And I'm just gonna stream some Super Mario World. Because this is just a test, and then I can get my Switch in here. It looks like the qualities could be a little better. Not too bad of a consistent upload. I know it's not going to be 720p, or if it is coming to 720p, it's not going to be the best. And I'm going to move this around, because this looks dumb-tarded. And we'll go back to this and see how it looks. Bro, get over there. Okay. Then you... Go up 
here, looking all full and stuff. My boy Bob. <coughs> Excuse me. Wrong. Honestly, it was a little pixelated. I will try to change the bitrate. At a certain point, it knocks out the internet. As technically AT&T, which is who I got, the new provider, they're finally here. Technically, I'm only supposed to have, which sounds very terrible, I know, 768 kilobits per second. They give me three. No. Take what you get. I have a review. I have a um, actual review of my previous provider called Boycom Cable Vision. When I get down this level, I will show you my review, what I said to them, and I think it's going to be great. on YouTube later and people on their work. Didn't have a rough night. I know it's Friday night. But hey, your bolts back, baby. Oh, it's 1025. Uh, it's time for the, 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 the sound warning. Uh, the scream. Ah! Wait for it. Ah! And there's your after scream. So there's your scream after the scream. this is happening, turn my Wi-Fi on, on my phone, because this is kind of, this is basically just a test stream, but I'm, I'm here, and I'll be here for a while. Um, I turn my Wi-Fi on, and I'm just going to do a, a speed test, see where I'll be. Start singing, but I don't want to get a, I'll be right in. I need connection. Already got terrible ping times because of it. 97. Go back a bit. Holy crap. Yeah, when I stream, I'm gonna take all the internet. It's crazy. Nobody gets an upload. I'm gonna take all the upload. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop that speed test. Well, the fact that my internet is working seems <coughs> good enough for me. Go ahead and shut that back off, because that's not happening. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. 
Might have to bring it down from 720-60p. Eventually, everybody's gonna start complaining about you know, the internet not working for them. Scream after the scream. My day wasn't too bad today. I um woke up. I lost my Yoshi. I woke up. It was about 8.15. I couldn't sleep for shit last night. Not for shit. And um probably seems like I'm just talking to someone, but that's okay. We'll watch this later. There's going to be a lot of tweaking on the channel. People who's even remotely curious about what's going on. Um, if I ever find time for anything. I did buy Pokemon Let's Go. But I kind of just played it already. I'll do another playthrough of it if y'all like me to. Honestly, I kind of want to play Odyssey. I think last time I was doing a test stream for your boy. Um, we talked about doing Super Mario Odyssey. Hello there, Sunflower. Uh, this is basically just a test stream right now. I got a new internet service. I used to have really high quality and high upload, <coughs> but where I moved was like way out in the middle of nowhere. And AT&T just came out here and I just got their service and I'm just tweaking it out right now. We're just playing Super Mario World. I just stopped by. Um, so how's the quality looking? Is it looking okay? I know it's not the best, because you can go on my previous YouTube videos and it shows a lot better quality. On oh, my favorite game? It would most likely be... If we're talking about all time. All time favorite game. It's actually this one. That's kind of why I'm playing it for my test stream. This is actually on a real Super Nintendo, so I think that's pretty cool. Looks okay, really. The only bad thing is, uh, whenever I started streaming on my new internet that I got, it knocks everybody off. Kind of just... Kind of hog everything. So, is like the audio syncing up with the game? Alright, yeah, this is... Yeah. A lot of people, see, I used to have, like, roughly 15 to 20 viewers, but I went on a, uh, not really quite sure what you mean, no, not at all, <laughs> my question was, um, anyways, uh, I used to have, like, 20, 15 to 20 viewers, but I kind of went on an eight-month hiatus, which was kind of bad on my part and then three months ago I moved to another location I couldn't get my internet provider they gave me like uh, 
is 50 megabit down and 50 megabit up. And so I could stream like 1080p no problem. It wouldn't hurt anything. And, uh, when I first moved to this apartment, there was a local internet service provider called Boycott. And uh, if you're interested, or I'll just show it anyways people on YouTube actually. I left a very, very nice uh, comment about them. But, um. Oh, you bastard. Um, that's all you can really get out here is local cable company. Nothing else. No DSL. No basic stuff. Just, uh, and, um, so I got them. And they're offering 20 megabit per second. And keep in mind, everybody in town said they're trash. They're terrible. Don't get them. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? And I said, well, I... You want to learn some stuff about uh, Mario? I mean, what exactly would you like to know? Because I literally know everything in and out about the Mario series. Just shoot me some questions and I will gladly answer them to the best of my knowledge. But anyways, I got them to install internet here. And they didn't even know how to hook up a cable jack. These people were terrible. So that put me in a bummy mood, and I couldn't, I couldn't stream, I couldn't do anything, and they were charging me $120, they disconnected my satellite service that I had, and everything, and I was like, come on guys, this is ridiculous. Every time I called them, they'd be like, fine on our end, and I'd get like .88 upload, download, and like .17 upload, what are you going to do with that? You can't even, you can't do this now. I don't understand why I'm showing this green bar. Because I mean, this is coming straight out of the Super Nintendo. Straight, raw footage of a real Super Nintendo. This game, about this game, I believe it came out in 1993, don't quote me on that. This is actually the first game I ever played or remember playing when I was a kid. I was four years old, and I just remember holding a Super Nintendo controller, just playing this game. And this is the original cartridge I had when I was four years old. And um, there was always this rattling noise in it. I never knew what it was, like, at all. And, um... Every time I turned the game off, it would reset. And, you know, me being a kid, obviously I didn't know that games had a little battery in them to keep charge when you turn them off. You just think it's just a magical little cartridge you blow into, you stick it in the thing and it does the thing. And it does the thing, and it just magically works. And, uh, so, I'd play it, I'd get, like, all the way far, I'd beat it, learn all the secrets and shortcuts, and one time, I remember this one time I was playing it, and my A button, wow, I'm being trash right now, my A button didn't work, and I had to learn a method on how to get past the level with not using an A button. Keep in mind, this is time when you didn't have internet. There was no internet looking up online, or, you know. It was that, it was that sweet spot time, let's say roughly about 2000 and, 2004 to 2007, where you didn't really have classic game shops to go buy a new controller or anything like that. Like, and there was no Amazon, there was no, nothing like that. And I found out all this stuff on my own. I found out 
if you had a Yoshi, it's a uh, Force of Illusion. Uh, very last level before you get to Castle Number Five. In order to beat the level, you would have to use the A button, which activates a spin attack, and you would break through the blocks to get a key and complete the level. Turns out, if you had a Yoshi, you grab the key, you do this this method here. You press Y, and you jump up like that, and the key would activate the block and spin, and you could go through. to go to the other side. And I knew that. I knew that. Hang on. I think my chat's getting... Sorry. I didn't have my chat scroll down, so I didn't know anybody was really replying. Um, I have actually played Super Mario Odyssey. And I have it. It's a really great game. I totally suggest it. Um, do you have a Nintendo Switch? And Mario Party 5? It's... Oh. Well, I totally recommend one if you could ever get one. It's, it's great. But Mario Party 5, oh no, my feather. First death of the game. Or second death of the game. Don't quote me on that. That's gonna be a new catch catchphrase. Don't quote me on that. Uh, anyways, getting back to Mario Party. Mario Party 4 is the best Mario Party in my opinion. Because Mario Party 5 is when they introduced the orbs. The first time they ever used the orb thing. I didn't really like that. I love Mario Party 4's item method, and it was the first leap into a fully 3D model uh, Mario Party game. It's great. I totally recommend getting that one, if you ever could. And actually, I do have a uh, stream of me playing Mario Party 4. You, should, you can go ahead and check that out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to. It's completely up to you. I'm not going to beg for subs or anything like that. I'm just here to produce some quality content. But, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and check that one out. I have a buddy of mine that I played with. It was my 20 follower special. It's, it's pretty cool. Like, we had a lot of fun playing that. We played um, on the Goomba Gala. I'm gonna start bringing out the dictionary here in a minute. <sighs> what does work want? Good thing I had my Friday shirt. Oh, today was Friday. I did not wear my Friday work shirt. It's sitting in my bathroom dirty. Where's my dog? I don't know where she is. She's probably, she's probably the pee on the floor or something like that. I hope not. Back to the game. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> I do not want to play Hotel Mario. But I will. Actually, I actually do kind of want to play Hotel Mario. And I want to see myself what all the fuss is about. Like, I've seen everybody play and say it's terrible. But is it actually... Actually, that bad. Night. Metro Boat checks out the game. Hotel Mario. And he finds out if it's bad or not. Is it true? I'm probably offended somebody out there doing that accent. You know what I'm talking about when somebody turns on the news. It's like, tonight at nine. I'll probably do that once I start going. Like get on the ball again and start having a lot of viewers. That was picking up a little bit, but a, a recommendation if anybody ever starts streaming, don't get on a hiatus because that will hurt you and you'll have to start over again and again and again. So if you really want to get into something and stick with it, do that. And I'm not gonna die this time. I swear. I swear I'm not gonna die this time. Yeah. Oh 
my god, yes. Okay. Because, like I said, I've already streamed this game before. So this is just my test stream to see how it sounds and quality. And eventually, I'll start uploading my little cuts and clippets. I need to learn how to do that again. I had a guy do that for me. Like, I would upload the, the stream after the stream. I even made a joke about that at work. I call it the scream after the scream. And every night at 10 o'clock, exactly at 10 o'clock, I'll scream. And then, if you like, oh, wait for it. And there's the after scream. And everybody will join me, and it's great. <coughs> I love fun people I work with. I can just mindlessly play this game. Like, I don't even have to think. Like, my, my hands just know what to do. Um, I've been on YouTube, well, my channel, this channel, actually, has been around for about a year. And I, I did a good streaming for three months. My Twitch, my Twitch has actually been around for four years. And, um, I streamed off and on. But, uh, I've really started picking up last year around this time actually when it hit about July between July and December I went on a hiatus yes streaming I am probably not sunflower a new viewer I was talking I was talking about my hiatus this is my test stream right now and they said it looks okay everything's working fine AT&T is doing great I, I brought it down I can't I wish it was the higher quality it's, it still looks okay but, uh, yeah probably <laughs> probably not I try to do a speed test you got you get two no no you don't get an upload I took that I'm taking that. It's nice. <laughs> what are you doing? No, I found it. It was over there. It was underneath the, uh, the table. Very clean hat. Bruh. Bruh. They go everywhere. <laughs> My popcorn. You flush. You flush my popcorn. <laughs> I started dying from that. But yeah, I've been on YouTube for a bit. Do you know anything about Louis Mansion? I do. Do you just mention mice? Well, there's a couple of them I can think of. I have the full playthrough where actually I run into a couple mice. I'm not gonna drink your hot Kool-Aid. I'm not drinking your hot Kool-Aid. I don't want to eat your cold cake. I'm not eating your cold. Yo, what is going on, guys? I'm literally gonna eat this cold cake right now, live on stream. Cupcakes. Anyway, I oh Super Mario 3D Land. That's <coughs> excuse my cough. I don't know where this came from. But I actually do have that game on my 3DS. If there's one thing I can figure out, is how to stream that onto the internet. 
But I really would like to answer your question about those oh. mice. I have a video of me playing Luigi's Mansion, and I just blew this all up. I'm pretty sure it gives you more, like, um, money. Whatever they call it in the game. I think it was called G Brand. <coughs> and, um, basically the whole point of Luigi's Mansion is, you know, you can catch Mario. You probably know of that much. But, um, it's also to see how many... The money in the game that you vacuum up is... Your score, basically. How well you do in the game. And the magic mice, if you vacuum them up just right, you'll get... I think it's like a couple of diamonds and stuff like that. Another game I would recommend if you're on, if you have a regular DS, is Super Mario 64 DS. Of course, I would recommend the original Super Mario. <laughs> you're here first. I'm gonna die live on the stream. <coughs> anyway, I would reckon, recommend the original Super Mario 64. If you ever get your hands on it. This actually counts as a level, by the way, if anybody was curious. And you can actually beat this level without having to get the green or pink locks. First Mario game that I ever had was um, it was this one, Super Mario World, the first one that I ever bought with my own money. say it was Super Mario 3 for the Game Boy Advance, which I still have. I still have my Game Boy Advance. I made sure to collect all my Nintendo stuff, and I'm never going to get rid of it, because I'm a Nintendo fanboy, and I'm always going to be. Watch this, I don't know if you've ever seen this before. Boom. What I'm doing is I'm moving the analog stick that moves the coins, and you have to be very precise about where you want these. Mario game that I don't have. I do not have Super Mario 3D World on the Wii U. I do have a Wii U, but it's broken. Somebody gave me a broken one. you where I messed up. Let me tell you where I messed up. Um, yeah, Super Mario 3D World is probably the only Mario game I do not physically have in my possession. I have everything else besides, obviously, Mario uh, games that came out on the CDI. Obviously, those probably just like stupid expensive. I'm just stupid myself. That guy there, that's a thing. Go ahead and take a trip to the special world. 
go ahead and complete the star. I know some people's gonna have OCD. I really cannot screw this up. I cannot screw this up. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. It's gonna go like that. You're gonna ask me if I've played Smash Bros. I have. I played uh Smash 64. I played Super Smash Bros. Melee, I played Smash 4, and I have Smash Ultimate. I'll tell you what, one of these days soon, I will actually hook up my Switch and my streaming equipment. And we'll just go ahead and have a Smash Duke out. And I'll play Odyssey. And I'll just go ahead and just stream my Pokemon the end of it, even though I haven't streamed the whole thing. I'll just stream my progress to where I am. I can actually go ahead and, and do that. I can put a BRB on, grab my Switch, my Switch dock, and I can go play Pokemon, which I'm at Victory Road on Pokemon. It's a Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is what I have. Oh, my thing still says Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know why it says I need to fix that. I probably don't know how to fix that. And that's a really good, that's a really good game too. That's a really great game. Cause that's, that's a, basically Smash 4. The only downside about the Smash Bros for 3DS is it doesn't have that many maps compared to the Wii U version of it. And the one thing I did like about it though is you can use a 3DS as a controller. And that was, um, um Super Mario Sunshine is a game that came out in 2001 on the GameCube. And I had that on my channel too, you can go ahead and check that out, it's pretty cool. If you ever just want to like lay there and have something to fall asleep to, I recommend just checking out my streams. Um, I don't really know what your age is because there is cussing in it, but it's okay, you can go ahead and check that out, but there is a content advisory. But I'm just saying, I don't know, yeah, but they're not that bad. And I do have highlights of Super Mario 64 you can check out. Do this. And I just goofed that real hard. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And it wow, okay. Absolutely right. It does say Super Mario 3. Yeah, and I just dropped my controller. <sighs> Sorry about that. Use that. Chanel. Hey, there we go. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. I really hope the stream is still going fine. Uh, this is basically a test stream, because I got a new internet provider. I moved to a new location, and the internet is terrible. What I got. What I had, and I just got AT&T. Better than what I had. 
So how you doing tonight? run fine yeah my own internet provider it was called element wireless well it was called rural route i actually worked for an internet company and built an internet service provider from the ground believe it or not like i i, I, I wouldn't lie i know it sounds something far-fetched um i was part of a wireless internet service provider and it was called rural route and where i live i could live way out in the country and have a 50 megabit down and 50 megabit upload and where I moved to my new apartment, there's a bunch of trees and stuff in the way, and uh, that was a no-go, because it's a WISP. So, uh, I ended up getting this terrible, terrible, you can look this, this cable company up, it's a... Terrible, terrible cable company. It's called Boycom Cable Vision. Just look them up on Google right now, and you will see what I mean. Just look at the reviews. And everybody told me they were bad. They told me they said they said Jared, that's bad internet. Don't get them. I said, well, that's all I got. It's either that or satellite. And I don't even live that far from town. Like I can, their town's right there. It's just that Missouri in general, especially Southeast Missouri has a terrible internet infrastructure and that's where wireless internet came into play but this is like I said a lot of trees around there but uh another thing was that wireless internet company we had the owner who uh backed up everything and like started the project passed away and so his LLC and all the rights to the company got sold to. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That's okay. But I just want to let you know my pain. Anyway, the owner stuff got sold to a company called Element. And I'm going to see, because they said they're going to put new radios up on the tower we had. And. They'll see if they can shoot a signal to me and I can get that internet here again. That's what I'm hoping. So, anyways, when I had that cable company, the the boy con one, the bad one, I called it your boy. And your boy is terrible. Kind of like me when I'm playing Super Mario World. Anyway, so it was about a couple weeks of me living in my apartment, and the best thing ever happened. I saw a bunch of AT&T trucks sitting at the end of my road. And I said, please tell me you guys are installing internet. Please tell me you guys are running fiber optic. They said, we are. He said, when will it be done? He said, May. And I was like, oh, May. And he was like, Sign up online to at and and we'll let you know when it's available. And I said, okay. Days go by, days go by. This, going back to this cable company. When I got them to install, they gave me this little, and I mean small, cable modem. I've never seen anything like it. It, uh... It's just awful. <laughs> and the cable techs, they came out here. I know a thing or two about that stuff. Like I said, I did that. I didn't even know how to install cable line. For technical people, it's called a RJ, RJ6, RG6. I'm not going to go into technical stuff because I don't want to think about it because I don't work for Rural Route anymore. What company? Um, my download was .88. My upload... 17. I was paying for 20 megabit. How is this company still in business? But anyway.
Really? 2.5 megabit down, and you have 15 megabit? Huh. See, it makes no sense how half the world can have, like, a, you know, like, God-tier internet. It's 2019, you think everybody should be connected equally? Especially Well it makes no sense how America who started like the, you know, the internet networking shouldn't be falling behind in internet speed. Everybody should be on fiber optic, honestly. But they're not. I don't know who has the best internet connection in the world, but we rank here in America number 25. <coughs> but literally, right down the road, they have a 200 megabit option here, but that's through another cable company. But what's good about me having AT&T is, um, it's fiber optic. It's not cable or copper. It's fiber optic. And they said they were gonna. They said they were gonna. They're gonna call me Saturday, actually, which is kind of weird. Cause I, I, I'm the only one that knows about the service they just installed. Cause I'm the one to ask them about it. And they said we're gonna call you Saturday. And they're gonna try to, even though they offer an 18 megabit plan. I, I pull like 22, 23, which is weird. They said they're gonna try to give me a, a faster upload. And I was like, what? So, they said they're gonna test me out on some new things that nobody else has in my city, so I'm like, I'm down for that. So, what's your speed test in, like, overall? Do you use uh, speedtest.net, or do you use a different speed test website? I don't know if everybody uses the same. I guess that's what the countries call me. Only stupid. <laughs> oh no, my Yoshi. Oh no! Oh, Sunflower, if you know I'm, if I'm just like talking to myself or ignoring you, I'm not. I have a uh, Twitch pulled up. I dole stream from Twitch and YouTube. So, you know. But. Check out my YouTube channel, man, if you want to see what games I play. I, uh, don't know what a Mario killer is. <laughs> what? <laughs> I totally forgot I had Bob Ross in the corner of my screen. There's no such thing as, like, a bad result in my eyes. But well, let me explain that so I don't sound weird. Um, if you're pulling, like, .88 or something like that, I feel your pain is what I'm trying to say. I did that. But I love my old internet. I hope I can get it back. And I worked for the rural route. And ooh, ooh, ooh wee! <coughs> Excuse me. But I've worked at Dairy Queen for five years. I started as a little a dish boy, and I made my way up all the way to general manager. There's my work ethic right there. And on the side, I work for the internet company to help build in the project. I really wish I had money just to buy it out and own it. But, from what I heard was, wireless internet service providers, they're not going to be that popular anyways, because before the owner passed away, um, he was saying it was going to go obsolete. And I was like, how can that go obsolete? 
guess that's 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 a really cool thing. You know, it's basically like shooting a wire about five miles. That's no problem. Anyway, uh, 5G is about to roll out because the AT&T tech came out here to my house and said we're talking about 5G and they're going to put 5G radios. It's called Project Air Gig and it's going to roll out nationwide next year so maybe that will be pretty cool. Here's how it works. They're going to put radios on every other power line and it's going to send the 5G millimeter wavelength through the copper connection. And it's supposed to give you like fiber optic type speed. We'll see how that plays out and see if we can get the whole country connected again. What are you pulling right now for your megabit? Internet talk always like is intriguing to me. I've always been interested in internet and how connection works and how you can make something faster and build onto it and make it better. Because in this day and age, internet's like the new phone system. Everybody needs it and everybody needs to be connected. It's a big deal. I was gonna say a like bell system. If you ever heard of, like how the telephone was created. Alexander Grand Bell System, which that, if you didn't know, is what AT&T is. That was the Bell System. 400, 400 megabit? Dude, you are flying. See, is, if, is 400 megabit normal there? Like, what's the lowest speed you can get there in Germany? I bet it's just crazy hearing that I only get 20 megabit max. My favorite Smash game would be... Um, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, because I love the subspace of Mystery. Where you say that? Yeah. It's on <laughs> the GameCube. I'm gonna go grab a Bepsis. Sometimes you don't get anything, really. Let me ask you this: Do they still use dial up there? I'm curious. And I'll be right back. Grab a Pepsi. The most internet speed I have ever seen in my lifetime has been 200 megabit. With my own eyes. I'm not talking about obviously going on YouTube and just watching, you know, a speed go to a gigabit and you're just like jizz your pants seeing it, but no. That's the most I've honestly seen and it's just, it's crazy. What? Do they have a gigabit now? Yeah, 
to figure out why there's like bars through this. Because this is an actual Super Nintendo with a real Super Mario World. Like this is a real deal. Probably my AV cable be in there. So yeah, regular is 100 to 200. Sounds about right. Regular here. The national average for uh, broadband connection is roughly 20 meg, and I actually fall underneath that. And the main problem here in America is rural America. You just live right outside city limits. The, the phone companies, when they got bought out, basically the the internet backbone that we have here that's like everything's connected um was one big company it was called uh bell the bell system the history lesson i've done a lot of research on it just to know in general about internet because i've worked with it half my life not half my life i'm only 21 but anyway the Bell system, and they got split up into like five companies. Like so there was Southern Bell, there was a uh, you know, Southwestern Bell, whatever. Each part of the country had its own Bell name. What am I doing? I'm just nonchalantly playing. Whatever. Anyway, All right, let's do this. Yeah, the government made them split up, and so they started their own thing. That's why some other parts of it. They got funding from the government and got to lay fiber out in the early 2000s. That's why metropolitan areas got it. But other places that wasn't quite developed yet for that kind of connection got left out. Something like that. That's kind of how it went. Let me get this. I need a Yoshi. Where I live is part of the Southwestern Bell system, which is now everything's ATT and they get got back together. Like how that one works. Of course, yes, there's other companies, but they AT and T literally owns like half the backbone of America's internet. And so Southwestern Bell didn't get whenever it got bought back out, bought back into AT and T. The funding, the money disappeared, and they couldn't leave fiber optic to these areas. That's weird. This is this weird? Your fun fact of the day. Oh, well, I appreciate you stopping by, Sunflower. Yeah, don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd like. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna beg for subscribers and viewers, I'm just here for the fun. You have a good night. I don't work till 3 p.m. tomorrow, so I'll just be chilling. I gotta go and update my Twitch and start just saying, hey, I'm back. Apparently, we go right. What's going on, guys? It's uh, Kermit the Frog here, and uh, today we're gonna go and check out Super Mario World. Thank you. 
I can. I can completely imagine your frustration on that. Um, there's one thing you could look into. Now, I don't really know much about it, but it's called a VPN. Which is a virtual private network. Oh, hey, Zane. Yeah, I got, uh, I don't have Boycom anymore. I have AT&T Fiber. Fiber, hybrid, copper, whatever it is. They just, they just rolled it out, and I'm testing it out. It's pretty cool. But yeah, you can check out, see if you can VPN, because if you ever have problems connecting to any kind of like American website that much, there's you VPN it. Virtual private network. And there's a lot of free VPN services out there. And another thing is, you can check out uh, DNS servers. Uh, you can change your DNS servers on your computer. Uh, like Google DNS. Alright, man, I'll try. I'll try. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool that I'm back. You can try, you can try Google DNS servers. Up. There's literally only two servers. That's kind of BS. Gosh, I'm gonna wait for that. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die from that. Come on, come here. All right. Ah, the Red Switch Palace. I swear I can hit Alicia Keys and I will always love your high pitched voice. Oh, I'm sorry, man. The uh, the games I, I, I hate the most. There's not really, I don't really have any hatred for games. It's just games, some games that, you know, people's not interested in. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like Germany's not that small. Let me ask you this. This is a little off topic of what we're talking about tonight. How's the Audubon? I've always wondered about the Audubon. If I'm pronouncing that right, I'm not I'm not sure if I am, but I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Like I heard there's no speed limit on that, and that's gotta be amazing. Why do I keep killing without a Yoshi? This video is gonna be a great highlight video. Gotta get down to editing. Sounds like a big tutorial when it comes to editing. I'm literally—I feel like I'm just flying through this game, even though I've died a few times. It's always a game. If I'm ever bored or frustrated, I can just hop on. Yeah, I'll just play. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing. I meant to do this. This is what I meant to do. I meant to be all cool, like, oh, I'm gonna come here. Do this, and then it's gonna hit the wall. Boom, yeah. Then you give it to Joshi, and Joshi does this. 
Oh yeah, we can play a song for you, yay! Actually, keep your Yoshi on this level. Do it just loosed, loosed. Do this. We got this live on stream. Boom. Nope. Nope. Just like that. Oh no! Oh no! You're gonna ask me who I want in Smash Bros. Obviously, I want Wah. Got this. I'm totally not getting frustrated. Okay. Oh, so it's only like 80 miles an hour. I bet up way too much over here thinking that you, know, you can you can go crazy on I mean which there probably are some people that probably just like are dumb and just just, just floor that shit. Sounds nice. Oh my coal's getting burned in my vape. That was gross. <laughs> I've never played Captain Toad, but I've had I have been interested in it. There's only one level on this game that I'm aware of that you cannot keep Yoshi on. That's the level you first come into Vanilla Dome. I never figure out a way to do it. And the way I play games is I don't look stuff up online unless I get absolutely lost. That's my last go-to option is look up online. I love playing games blind. <coughs> because that's how it was back in the day when you were a kid. You didn't look stuff up. You just did it. You told everybody how you did it. Command prompts to open up on my freaking computer. That was weird. I've never played a bootleg Mario game. Hmm. No, but I have been very interested in it. A, a, a streamer that I love to watch on my free time is uh, Vine Sauce, and there's Vinny, and another one that I watch is Joel. Well, 
fucking bungos. Every Mario character? Yoshi. Specifically, Red Yoshi. I just got a 50. I just got a 50. You guys saw it here. I literally just got a 50. Boy, oh. the Sandman's hitting me hard right now. I've been up since uh, 8 a.m. Shedding, girl, you got your hair all over me. Oh, it appears my mother is tagging me in her post. Real life. Mario Kart is coming to St. Louis. Say no more, sign me up. I am gonna go to that. Oh, only 30 miles per hour? That's the speed limit going through town here. Actually, it's 35, but, you know, nobody, nobody goes to speed limit. Nobody does. So, I mean, you have to go with the flow. That's what I've learned from driving. Like, what, what, if it's 38 miles per hour, what are they even driving the ball? Or Nepal. Boy, who wants to meet it up? Nepal. Fifty again. God, I hate this castle. Probably one of the slowest levels I could ever go to. I think tomorrow I'm gonna actually hook up my switch. After tomorrow, because I work three to close and working at a Dairy Queen, I'm not gonna get over there until midnight, which will be the next day. And, uh, yeah, it's a Saturday night, that's gonna be ice cream for sure. Lose their ice cream. Anyway, I'm off topic. I. I kinda just wanna play my Pokemon Let's Go and I'll just stream it. So people can just see where I'm going. As a Pokemon Plus and what I do is whenever I'm at work, I'll literally just like put the Pokemon on it. As, all, as, as much moving around I do at my job, I literally level up my Pokemon like five levels. Miles. 
38 specifically. That just sounds kind of strange. We always base it off of like fives. Yes, and 31. The only place I know is, that does 31 miles per hour is a small little town in West Tennessee called Trenton. They do that because it used to be 30 with people with speed, but the way they got them was, all right, you want speed? We'll give you one extra mile per hour. And if you go over, we will pull you over. And they are serious. They're really serious about that. So they bought new signage and everything. <gasps> oh, fudge. Okay. 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 Audience. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, kilometers. Which I feel like we're the only country who was like smart asses and made a totally different measurement from a whole different part of the world and teaches everybody it. And when the whole other world uses like different measurements, like, like, Fahr like we use Fahrenheit. Other places use Celsius. It makes no sense. Why can't we just have one whole global measurement for everything? And, and if you want some weird stuff, is a question I never quite understood. Like it's a very, very weird, strange topic. Why are there multiple languages? Why couldn't there just be one whole universal language? Make it weird tonight. Like, there's like over like 300 different languages. Crazy. I swear, I'm, I'm not. I'm not high. <laughs> I am tired though. When I get tired. I honestly believe it should be like the kilometers per hour because like I said half the other world uses it which you know it sounds weird for me to say that because I grew up off miles per hour so you guys use both measurements like do you learn both measurements or is it like how I kind of just know about kilometers I just learned it from picking it up, and it also shows on the dash of my car. But, like I said, that's just a weird question, because I'm, I'm just so used to using Fahrenheit. And whenever somebody says, like, it's 32 degrees Celsius, I'm like, Cold, because 32 degrees Fahrenheit is hot, which obviously I think 32 degrees Celsius is hot, very hot. Zero equals to 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which is below freezing. Must be nice living in Arizona, being hot. Here in southeast Missouri, it is early. I will tell you exactly what the temperature is. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Easy. Google's always your best friend. I just like, hey Google, what's the temperature right now? Fifty degrees. Hey Google. Hello. Nothing right now, but I'm just glad you're there. And you ruined it. You ruined it. What do I want to do?
Oh, I gotta beat this level the other way. Use the ghost castle. Like, this is the only level, as far as I know, you cannot, but no matter what, keep a Yoshi right here and get across. I appreciate it. Nice meeting you. I hope you hit that uh, follow button. And hope to see you here more often. <coughs> you can also check out my YouTube channel if you if you want. You know, pretty cool stuff. And you, you have a good day, night. Well, you know what I mean. I'll catch you later. I'll be more awake eventually. the big boo. It's the big boy. Big boy. Uh, somewhere in the vicinity. There it is. I think it's literally just called a P-Switch. Oh, for some reason when I was a kid I called it a plank. When you think of plank, you think of Ed and Eddie. Insert picture of plank here when I do my, uh, highlight video. That was almost death. Maximum cringe. Boop. It's a nice uh, scan line going through that uh, lava there. You guys see that too? Did I just come out of that pipe backwards? I was, was here to see that. That happened. That was the thing. Who let that happen?
Well, guys, I'm glad to be back. I'm gonna go ahead and do. Well, actually, hold that thought. The only way to save. Go to a saving point somewhere. Go beat this ghost castle quick. The real quick. Roll the floor's lava. <laughs> that should activate a save point. Alright guys, uh, it's it feels great to be back. It feels great knowing that I can stream with no problem and just and just go and do what I really want to do. Um, I would try to find time and stream. But everything's set up and ready to go. I have a better internet provider that's gonna work right. We'll see where it goes from here. I'm not gonna be able to stream like every day of the week, but maybe once or twice a week to three times a week. You'll see me here just chilling, playing games. If you want to stop by, that'd be pretty cool. Um, as always, you can follow me on Twitch if you'd like. You can also uh, go to YouTube.com, search Retro Bolt. It, was, it should be the one with the Mario with a gray background. It says the stream after the stream. Go ahead and check it out there. Um, I love each and every one of you guys. Oh, and by the way, it's a nice, it's a nice shirt you're wearing. I really do like the stitching on that. I'll be with it next time I see the stream. You guys have a good night.